Hi, I wanted to make this video about just finding your way around a turntable. There seems to be a lot of people on the internet who don't even know the basic parts of a turntable, so I thought it might be useful for beginners. So I'll start with explaining what the various things do on the turntable. You can buy all kinds of fancy things to set up a turntable, but everything's really there for basic setup. So um, people wonder what all these different dials do. So anyway, I'll show you the basic setup first. When you're setting the weight of a pickup, that's how heavy it sits on the record, what you do is you set this here until the, the pickup arm sits completely floats level like that. So there's no weight at all. Then you set this at zero at the back. This turns independently from the weight. So you set that to zero. And then you simply crank it round until whatever the ideal weight for your particular cartridge is. So for this one, it's a 78 cartridge, it runs between one and a half and three grams. So I'm going to set it at two grams. So now that pickup will sit exactly on the record at two grams to tracking weight. Then people often wonder what this little dial is at the side here. This is the anti-skating. So what you do is you just set this dial to exactly what you've just set this for. So if it tracks at two grams, you set this at two grams. And then it will sit more or less evenly track on the record. Now the other thing you've got on this particular turntable is Audio Technica, which is the same as a as many other turntables, there's a height adjustment. So that simply turns this lever, you can unlock it first, and you just make sure that this sits level with the record when it's on there. This one's already set high, so it's all ready to go. So that's actually a basic setup right there. Where it can get a little bit more difficult is when you've gone out and got a new head uh, cartridge and you want to install it and you don't know well where do I put this up and down on here and this is uh, has to be quite precise and this is uh, where you need a little bit of help. Connecting the wires is straightforward enough most of them are color coded on the back so you can just keep the colors to the same but what the difficult part is is getting whereabouts do you put this up and down here I mean what it's all about is it's the distance between here and here that has to be exact. Now the way to do it if you don't want to spend any money and the normal way to do it is you can download one of these cards from the internet. I'll put the link in the comments underneath and all you do is you simply move the arm along until it sits on the dot. I'll just do it now. Okay, so you can see the needle is sitting on the dot more or less and this is round the spindle and then when it's sitting on there that has to be exactly parallel with the lines that are on the card. When that's right, it's, uh, it's more or less exact. And that's why you move this up and down here until that lines up. Now a much more easier way to do it is you can go out, if you've got a Techniques turntable or anything like that that uses the same distances, you can go out and get one of these tools. I'll put a link to where you can get it. It's simply a piece of plastic. And all you have to do is you stick this plastic tool on there goes through a little crack there with the pin goes that fits tight there and then this when the needle is level with that little groove there it's exactly the right distance and you just have to make sure everything is square and lines up so it's a very simple way to set the pickup so it's in the right place if that's out, you're going to get all kinds of weird noises and it's not going to sound good and wear the records. So this is just a very quick way of doing it. So if you do that, you don't need any of those fancy cards. You can quickly just put this on the end and you don't need these at all because you'll put these screws in exactly the right place then. And it slides up and down the right place. These um, heads come in all different shapes and sizes. See, this one's an old-fashioned type. But most of them are going to look like this. And they just come in different colors or look like that. But it's uh, all the same idea for the distances. Now if you want to get a little bit more exact about everything, first of all you might want to get yourself a set of scales so you can weigh, get the exact weight that the pickup is sitting on the record. This is an analog one, they also come in the digital display. I've just changed uh, 
cartridges on here and this one tracks about one and a quarter gram so I'm going to do the same as I did before roughly just set this at zero if it see if it floats this one's lighter so it needs more weight so that's just about floating so I set this at zero again and set it for about one and a quarter grams and we'll see how close that is on the scale so to do that I just simply stick the pickup in the groove there and see it's a little heavy so I need to just wind this back until it floats on there nice and you see that rocking backwards and forwards and you see that's exactly level so that's running at 1.25 grams so I've set my gauge at the back to 1.25. So the next thing to do is set the anti-skating. For that we need a test record. This is a sure test record. It has a blank groove on it. So what you do is you take your pickup and you stick it on the in the middle of the blank groove and put the record on. And Now that should sit exactly in the middle of the groove without sliding backwards and forwards. And as you can see it more or less is because I've said it so you move this see it moving backwards and forwards with the anti-skating that's what it's supposed to do. so you set that until it's sitting right in the middle of that blank groove so now that anti-skating is exactly right and actually on the meter it's set at two grams and actually we're only set at 1.25 as you know so as I said they're not exact but now that's exact it's sitting right in the middle so you've got exactly perfect anti-skating now the principle is exactly the same even when you're using an SME arm which it, you can actually see what it's doing. Now if I drop the pickup on there you can see that's going to that's sitting in the middle. But how that works is this piece of cotton here is your counterweight which is the same as turning that dial at the end. So if I move that cotton in a different spot on here you'll see that that will slide across the record now and not sit in the middle. See, whoa, there it goes, see, it's because this cotton, this little weight is not counterbalancing the cartridge. So we move that until it sits in the middle. Now it's sitting in the middle of that groove again, which is just how we want it. But the principle is exactly the same, and it's the same for the weight. These weights just move up and down on here. Now for basic record care, for beginners, you don't need much, you just need to keep your records clean and have your pickup set up right. So the best thing to do is get some veggie wash that you use for vegetables. This is fruit and vegetable wash. The reason is it's a very gentle, because it's made for human consumption, it's very gentle soap and it won't leave any residue and it's, if it's good for your body it's, it's good for a record I assure you. So you need a few drops of this, some distilled water, not, uh, um, uh, you know, not like um, spring water because that's got minerals in it. It needs to be distilled water. And then you need some 99% alcohol, which you can get anywhere. This is from Walmart. And you put it all in an old squeezy bowl. So just put three quarters uh, distilled water. The rest fill up with alcohol and then a few drops of your veggie wash. Then go out and get yourself some, a couple of nice soft cloths, really soft ones. See how they're really, really soft cloths. And if you can get two colors and get a bunch of them, all the better. This is a really quick and easy basic. I've got another video on doing a better job, but this is good enough most of the time. You just spray it on the record like that with your cloth. Rub round just with your hand like that, nice and gentle. That's one side, turn it over, don't touch the record. Spray it round again, try not to get it on the label. Do the same again the other side. Now that's taking the worst of the dirt off. And if there's any real bad fingerprints, you can give it an extra go. But then, then you do the same again. 
both sides and while it quickly while it's still wet. This is a good way too to clean your records when you're in a hurry and you don't want to mess about cleaning it. Then you take the other cloth and you just go around like that in the direction of the grooves one way, clean the middle, just flip it, go around again the other way. And you'll find that actually that's as good as cleaning a record as all the fancy ways of doing it and it's very quick. It's a nice soft cloth, the record all comes up cleanly and shiny, you don't have to wait for it to dry or anything else. That record is now ready to play. The only other thing you want to go out and do is see you can probably pick it up in a Goodwill store or somewhere is get yourself a record brush which is these very very fine hairs on it. They come in different varieties. This one's of course anti-stack dust cleaning brush, comes in a little holder like that. The main thing is just to use that part. I don't recommend using the other part, just the hair stuff. It works the best. And of course, a little brush to clean the stylus with. So if you do that every time, give it a little clean, and run your brush gently on the record like that. And then you're all ready to go. And of course, if you're not, uh, scratching and stuff like that. You just leave this control exactly in the middle and everything exactly set as it is. And don't try and use reverse if you haven't got a scratching type stylus because if you're using a regular hi-fi stylus you'll break it off. So that's basically all there is to it. And you've got nice clean records and you're ready to go. And there we are, we're all set up and ready to run.